Hey, champ, was it was it a little disrespectful that she like put her hands on you and touched you? Like she she talked about how she was able to you know essentially like slap your hand and you didn't do anything. You like looked at the crowd in her Instagram live. Right. Well, listen, if we know anything about Clarissa, she thinks she did her big one by slapping my hand. And this is what I want people to understand. If I wanted to drag this girl, I would. But guess what? Everything's playing in my mind. I think before I do things because I look at the bigger picture. I am a world champion. I am undisputed at 130. I have a lot of people and a lot of fans, young girls, young kids who look up to me. Just imagine me fighting Clarissa. Is that a good look? I know a lot of people love that. They love it. They eat it up. I should have I should have did this. I should have did that. No, I'm 30 years old. I got bigger and better things coming my way than to be slapping around this girl. But Clarissa is is a hype hype man. She she hypes herself up. She got a big crowd. She thinks she you know, she's doing something. She really not. She's very immature. And in that moment, I had a choice to make. I had a choice to either drag her or keep it moving. And I kept it moving because at the end of the day, Clarissa is who she is. She's insecure. Like I keep saying, she, she, she's all for the rah, rah. So it was disrespectful, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm not surprised either, but it, it all comes down to me and how I, how I respond. And I responded correctly. I know that. And I get paid to fight. Okay. I'm not tussling for free. I got a whole dress and heels on. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Um, yeah, so we were, we were talking, you were talking about the weight just two seconds ago. Um, my question is why Clarissa has a problem with, um, you wanting to, to make the fight at 147 when you're jumping up three weight classes, 130, jumping over 135, jumping over 140, going to 147 to fight her, but she can't call up a couple of pounds to fight you at 147 when she was going to fight Chris, Chris Cyborg at 147, but she can't fight you at 147. So I'm just worried. I'm wondering why that's an issue when you're jumping three weight classes to fight her. <laughs> Hey, that's a great question. That's a great question to ask her because that's what I'm trying to figure out. That's why I keep preaching, girl. You talking about you fight this girl at 147, but you can't fight me. You want me to jump up how many weight classes? I really think, I don't really think I know Clarissa is threatened. This is what y'all got to know. Nobody was barking up Clarissa Shields' tree. I said that I'll fight her. Now it's like, oh, it's personal. So now that I'm coming with that heat and I'm talking my shit like I always do, and you mad, you're, she's threatened. So, you know, she wants the most advantage she can get. And that, that's all that is. She want to make 47. She could. I know she could. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's definitely true. Like, um, the, the weight talk and everything is just kind of, you know, Clarissa ain't been pressed. Like, you tried to press her and... And and that's where we're at now. And and I thought for real at first it was going to go cool because you just gave her like a polite call out. Like, hey, you know, I think we two, two yeah. are the best. Like, let's get it on. Right. Like, we got to do this. Like, let's let's see who really is the best. And, and I thought it was going to go cool and like she was going to oblige. But, you know, shit's changed and it is what it is. But, you know, um, I just think that it's definitely something that people have been waiting on and however long it it takes to happen and whatever you got to do to make it happen is what people want to see. Facts. Listen, like I said, I'm, I'm willing, but let, let's be honest. Like Clarissa got to be willing too. you, you, you already preached to 147. Let's make the fight, make the fight. <laughs> um, Alicia, what, what, what do you think of Clarissa's rap skills? Are, are you bumping a single? I think it's trash. Respectfully. What, what do you think of it? Man, listen, if I, when I get in the booth and I drop them bars, y'all go know the difference. That's oh, all you got bars? Like, like, listen, I can do it all, y'all. Y'all just don't know it. But again, there's a time and a place for everything. Um, you know, like I said, Clarissa do what she want to do. I think every fighter at the point do what they want to do. But um, I'm definitely killing her in every area. So Okay. And, and, and to, keep it, to keep it real, when, when I saw when she grabbed your hand, um, I, I was absolutely terrified. Like I, I feared for your life being that she been in the, the MMA. What was your thoughts when she grabbed your hand? Did you think it was going to be like a guillotine situation? Like what, what did you think? Listen, no, listen, I'm a, I'm a type of person who sends off energy. Clarissa, again, she's all that. She's, she's for the uh. look. 
she want to make, she thinks she did her big one. You know what I'm saying? I think I see her tweeting like, oh, she punked out. If y'all think that's fucking out, go ahead. Think what you want to think. But like I said, I get paid to fight. You know what I'm saying? I get paid to tussle. And um, I'm also looking at the bigger picture things. I got heels and a dress on. Like, let's be, let's be real. You know what I mean? And I know security was right there. So, you know, go ahead, make, do how you want to do it. But again, I was, I realized the position I was in. You right. know what I mean? So, you know, and it, got to think bigger than, than what's going on. I'll tell you and, that. In regards to Amanda Serrano, Amanda Serrano says, I don't like when fighters call me out. I want to be nice, kind of like Canelo, respectful. What's your thoughts on that? Because I, I like when niggas like say, let's just run the fade. I don't I don't need to be friends. I just want to run the fade. What, what's your thoughts on how Amanda Serrano wants you to be respectful in order to get the fade? Listen, shut that shit up. We don't want to hear that. We want we want to fight. I get it. There's there's a, there's a line that you you know you draw, but at the end of the day, Amanda Serrano's in the fight business. We fight. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. I know you nice. I'm nice too. I'm very nice, but I'm also a fighter too. And I also know when I want that smoke, I want to fight, and I'm gonna call you out. That's just what it is. Ain't no hard feelings. Stop taking shit personal. You know what I mean? The, it's a fight game. Like yeah, that's the chilling. We get paid to fight. Like, we get paid to get in the ring. And we get paid for people to watch it. Like, I don't know why people get so butthurt and bent out of shape with stuff like that. We blow my mind. And, and one Maybe last, you just have to ask politely, too, though. You know? I don't know. You that's said what? Just ask politely, can I can I get the fade? <laughs> you know? Like, maybe that's all you got to do. You'd be in there. <laughs> one, one last... You know, it's, it's a word to talk. <laughs> one last thing. C- Clarissa was talking about um, she might walk out with, with Adrian Broner. What's your thoughts on that? Is is that musty? This, what, what's your thoughts on that? Listen, again, y'all, very immature. <clears throat> I wouldn't go very, just, just immature. Like, go ahead. If that makes you feel better, like, at the same, at the same time, you looking at the same type of people. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you do. This is the thing, y'all. Like, I sat out for nine months beating my case. You think I care what people got to say about me? Do you really like I've overexceeded that? People are going to talk. People ain't going to like me simply because I fight good. I look good. I talk good. And ETC, there's just the rest goes on. Again, Clarissa is very immature. She's a child. She has no growth as a woman and it shows. And I actually feel bad for her because how do you have a team? And you have people around you who aren't telling you how to do things. That's sad. You know what I mean? Like, let's just be real. Like, take the other shit out of it. That's sad. I feel bad for you type shit. So, cool. If you want to walk with, walk out with Adrian Broner, be my guest. I don't care. 